So it's summer 2019, the Pite has been delayed yet again. Some people are getting XRs instead, and the prime riding season has begun. Oh, and school's out. So while some people are waiting on the next generation of one wheel, I went out and made one of my personal dreams come true. <laughs> this is a V1 one wheel, but not just any V1 one wheel. This one has never been ridden ever, not once. This tire has never touched the pavement. These bumpers are clean. Um, and yeah, the foot pads are unscratched. They're also zero miles on it. Um, I checked the app and never been ridden. A couple rotations, I assume, for testing. But other than that, never been ridden. Of course, couldn't help but put some sidekicks on it. Nice and clear, enjoy the blue. Float plates. Jeff McCosker blue, and as for the fender, it's got it rigged up for the Craft & Ride magnetic fender. We'll put that on there later. Getting this thing to this point was actually quite the ordeal. After one misfire where FedEx actually lost one of these, I was able to track down another one, and that's actually this one. So somewhere out there, I'm sorry to say, there is another V1 that has just gone missing. It's out in the ether somewhere, but the point is this one's here now. This one has never been ridden and it's about to be, and you will come along with me in part two of this series on its maiden voyage. This thing sat somewhere on a shelf, uh, or in a closet, or something for four years. Never ridden, never plugged in for four years. Opening it was pretty trippy. It was kind of like opening up a time capsule. Now, unfortunately, since it did sit unused and uncharged for about four years, the battery was dead. So it had to go back to future motion, get the battery pack replaced. And I will say that the entire process was remarkably easy and future motion was very, very helpful, very communicative and very kind about the whole thing. So after about two to three weeks, this thing shows up at my door, battery replaced and ready to go, and that's why we are here. It's not a pint, and you know what, that's okay. Because while a lot of people are clamoring about specs and mileage and new tech, sometimes the heart just wants what the heart wants, and my heart wanted this thing. Maybe it's the teacher part of me, but sometimes a little bit of history and really being able to relish in that history is a bit more important than owning the latest and the greatest. And so expect to see this thing in videos, rides, all the other future content that I will be doing, especially now that it is summer. And I'm gonna really enjoy this thing. So for part two, I'm gonna take it on its maiden voyage. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you come with me on that first voyage with this V1. I haven't named it yet. You know what? Give me a name. Let's, let's do it that way. Let's do it the YouTube way. Give me a name for this puppy. Put them down in the comment section below. I'd love to know your thoughts of what I should name this thing. The original V1. And I'll see you in the maiden voyage. Thank you for watching. Bye. Shouldn't we clean the chocolate off your face? But first we need to put a sticker. A sticker? Yeah. Which one? What does it say? Daddy. That doesn't say daddy. <laughs> yes, it says Eddie. It says float. Can you say float? Float. Cool. Uh, what does this say? Um. Kush. Kush.